It's amazing. Last year, you talk about Rideau being a part of this groundbreaking change in this program. He had, what, three, four losing seasons, 20 lost seasons. Last year, you win the postseason tournament. Have you? Kendrick Davis had 22 against UCF back in that January game. Trying to shake Green Jr. and was able to bank it off the glass. And the best Johnson that time. And the Mustangs with a breakaway opportunity. Davis will get an easy one. It's a 10 point game. His fifth. Davis, the pull up. At a high level, consistently bleeding throughout the game, isn't it? Well, even if your offensively go stagnant, it shouldn't affect your defense and your pressure. Big time play. Not have expected that a few weeks back, right? Absolutely not. Playing great basketball down the stretch here. Here's Davis, top of the key, banks it in. Oh, no. Exactly right. He was battling for the save along the sideline. I should not have called him out. Exactly right, but nobody else was back defensively. Being dared to shoot and make sure you have to attack. Get into the lane. Try to get an easy basket to stop this run from SMU. UConn is nine, excuse me, is 10 for 21 from three. Hate to shoot. Davis pulls the trigger. Davis has been the maestro. Seven assists. Right on his season average. Now in double figures. Seconds into the game. Precious Achua got his second. Memphis hasn't scored since. Davis on the run off the window. Make Davis hits. Yep. And wins. The American Athletic Conference Tournament, but if you want to put an at-large resume, you have to have this. Yep, no question. Crucial. Four games. Uh, Davis, left hand, pretty move. Mustang seven of eleven from three-point range. Going inside to Mike. Good ball movement. Davis three. Bingo. Davis to the basket, he's got Hightower flanks Davis in the matchup, and Davis blows by. Last five misses his first in the second. Davis contacted by Nick Thomas. He puts it. was a delight for Tar Heel fans to finally get Cole Anthony back. He was superlative from the free throw line in a win over BC. Lost to BC. And he goes, most of the guys made putts, so hopefully it's going to help their confidence in shooting. That was an awesome subversion for Ron Hunter. His, his team. A lot of movement. You know, they've been able to give him the ball and get him some ball screens, which has really freed up some space for shooters. As long as SMU can make shots, their offense can keep working. But movement does help create more activity and better angles to attack. That's a tough shot by Dave. Duke right now in ESPN playing at Syracuse, trying to get the Quadrant 1 win in the Dome. Carolina again, the one-point loss to BC today, but Cole Anthony scored 26 in his return. But go with his seven and a half assists per game. Some people feel he's the best guard in the American Athletic Conference, and there's one of the reasons why. But you is so much quicker. The largest lead of the game for the Tigers. David Woods looks to needs, answer with the and one. Available to play it. CJ White off the bench. Shagwa with the ball. Ethan Shagwa, he's a bench player as well, good contributor. Now White. Shot clock under 10. Davis with five. Right guy pulls it. Got right guy! <laughs> and no doubt, Tim Jankovic pleased with the way things have started. Kendrick Davis, nice move and, and easy. Uh, give a nod to the great defense. SMU a chance to take the lead with the three. Davis will settle for the tie. SMU getting the offensive board for Ron Hunt, just kind of plucking it away from everybody else. And a good, that is not a strength. I mean, they're the sixth worst three point shooting team in the country, so I think you're minimizing <laughs> the struggles from distance. They're averaging just eight points per game. Here's Kendrick Davis. I tend to like their Cowboys here in Dallas. Until that to Aaron McGee, grew up an Eagles fan. 
The run continues. Coming neutral. In fact, the 62 points Wednesday against Houston, their lowest point total in a game since November 18th. Just with 12 so far tonight. Davis off the glass. And that's different from last year, right? You had Galen Robinson, you had Armani Brooks, you had Corey Davis. Senior were their teams. And that's one of the things we talked about with both coaches. You just have to coach your team and understand what buttons to push. And two good defensive teams, too. Davis, great footwork. Warren Davis is just, man, does he get it. Look at that. How do you stop that? Defense is going to play him a little bit soft on the three-point shot. They got the mismatch again. Davis has been working the entire half. But Davis responds, and nobody pitching distance. Houston has come back with a couple of big buckets. What a crossover by Davis. He's hit the bucket, no foul call. Pick up because, again, a William and Mary setting records from the three-point line, and to have that consistent three-point shooter is in the... For ECU now, all of a sudden, SMU could take the lead for the first time today, and it's Shagwa on the kick for Mike. Isaiah Mike in Gardner, that's a great matchup today. Shot clock inside 10. Davis on the fake, and he converts. Wow, Henry Davis on the tag. Wow, Castaneda steps up, knocks on a huge three for South Florida. Jolly losing the handle seemed like there, but now Davis gets it for three at the top, and he drains it. A little too much dribbling by SMU. You got to beat the defense with the pass. Nine points in the game for Dylan DeSue. Davis on the drive, big buck. And South Florida want this game in the 60s. SMU wants it in the 70s. Davis again. The offensive rebound. Davis and nobody uh, Seeing that ball go in is going to work wonders for him and his confidence. Oh, Davis. Remember, they lost 80% of their production, and you got a lot of guys that are contributing for the Panthers that really have very minimal playing time and experience on the court. Davis, seven on the shot clock, one on that baseline, and running out of time will spin one up there. And so far, only a 12% three point shooter. But he has a good stroke, and when he goes straight up, he is a good shooter and showed it there. Matthew Moyer.